What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Waters Adventures. We're out here at River Foreshore, camping on the Maroochee River on a hip camp this weekend. Fully self-contained campsite, you bring your own toilets and showers and stuff like that. But yeah, we've got the rods, got the boat, all the boys are out here. Bailey, Claudia, Alexi, Archie, Nathan, Jess. Uh, we're in for a pretty good one, I reckon. Camping right on the river here. Might even be some muddies in there. We'll suss it out. Drove up late Friday night, got stuck in the typical Brisbane traffic, Sunshine Coast traffic. It was absolutely horrible, but we got here. Don't really like getting campsites at night time, it's never fun. But um, yeah, we made it and we're in for a good one. I'll uh, keep you updated what we get up to. So we just pulled up on a nice little sandbar. We're gonna try and do uh, what we did last weekend, get some yabbies and then go for some um, whiting and some flathead again. We had some good luck with that last time and yeah, we don't really have all day to be out here. It's pretty shitty weather but yeah hopefully we can catch something for a feed we'll see how we go got the uh the laborers pumping the abbeys for me Holy, you just topped yourself from last week, eh? I've caught one, another one. Not bad. Now I gotta get him off. See that, Dad? I can catch fish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's a little brim. Nah, it's a fish, isn't it, Lockie? I suppose so. Yeah. One, one, oh, another one on the board for you? Yep. Max stoked. What do you got? Oh, lovely. Can we keep that? Yeah. Hang on. Another one on the board. It's a lovely day out here on the water. And a couple of decent little whiting. Oh, <laughs> Nathan just juggled the whiting. Just your classic Waters adventures. It's pissing down rain again. How good. Oh, under the, oh yeah. Under the 14 iron. Alrighty, so after a wet night, we've um, waited for Bailey's tent to dry out and we are going to go out for another fish. Hopefully get some more whiting and yeah, get a decent feed for everyone. We got the two from yesterday. We've been sitting on ice all night. We should be good to go today, but um, yeah, we want a bit of a feed because there's a few of us out here. So everyone wants to reel in a decent fish to cook. So yeah, hopefully we had a good day out on the water. Might do a bit of cameraman today and uh, let Jess have a little fish. She wants to catch something, which is good. Yeah, I'll try to get the drone up. Hopefully there's no, there's a lot of rain hanging around yesterday. It was sort of drizzling all day, so I haven't gotten it up yet. But yeah, I want to get it up and yeah, show you where we're at and how it looks. I left my sunnies in the car. Well, you wouldn't read about it. I'm over here, we're using this little fucking ugly stick rod and it's got this little whiting at it. Yeah. And, all right, so I caught that whiting on the ugly stick. That was about 24 centimeters, just too small. I think Bailey's got a keeper or two keepers. He's bringing over. What do you got, Bailey? Nice little whiting, wading over the sand flats. 27. Should Good a, size for a feed. Should be a beautiful lead in that one. Yeah, hopefully we can get a few more. Jess is on the two over there. I don't know. Hopefully it's another whiting. Hold my video like this. You're almost free. Be about the only fish today that isn't coming home with us. Alright, I've just caught another beautiful little whiting on this little ugly stick. How bloody good is that? I'm just over here trying to keep Archie out of the way, letting Jess have a fish. And I'm actually catching him. Just chilling on the boat with the dog. Uh, he's going to be easily a size. Well, oh, 25. Let's go. Hey. Yes, what do you got, Nate? Another little whiting. Beauty. Another one tad to the collection. 27. 27, almost 28. Look at that, we've got a fucking good whiting feed now. Well, oh, see you later, buddy. Everyone's getting on. Might get the drone up in a second. Just keeping an eye on this. Lockie's little ugly stick I've been fishing with.
Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit, Lucky. <laughs> Fucking O. <laughs> How good. Let's have a look at this bad boy. See what Lucky's got. That's one happy dog right there. Chuck him down, let's see how big he is. Oh, that's a big boy. Is that 28? Borderline 29. Fuck yeah. Go, yeah, Jess. Bring him in. Oh. Good biting. Chuck it here before it comes off. Good biting? Yeah. Uh, big borderline. Yes, another keeper. Well done, Lockie. Fuck yeah. Got a mad feed, the Sabi. How many is that now? Two, three? Two, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we're in the Maroochee River. I'm pretty sure that is called Goat Island in the background there. There's a boat ramp over there and one just here. Man, this is some of the best fishing I think I've ever done. What do you reckon, Lockie? It's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, we've all brought in a keeper, so. We're gonna have a pretty decent feed of whiting tonight, I reckon. Got, should be good. Should be very good, very keen. Everyone's in good mood, spirits are high. Catching fish, this is just fucking beautiful. Wouldn't want to do anything else on a long weekend. Let's go. Thank you. We'll go close. I, I just lost one, Jess just caught one. And. Mwah. The Warden King. Once again, the Whiting King. Once again, the Whiting King. Oh, got him. Oh, snapped him off. Fuck, spewing. Oh, pulled hooks, didn't snap, pulled hooks. That was a good one, too. Don't let him come off, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> Another one. <laughs> a broom. A broom and a flathead. Nice to meet you, Mr. Flathead. Oh, Mr. Broom. Yeah, that's a big one. On, Haven't got many reel ins today, but I think we got one here. Let's go, Lucky. Oh, a decent size whiting. Yes. Another one. <laughs> Beauty, that's that's a keeper for sure. That's a good one. Well done, mate. Hell yeah. Yes, another keeper. Is that legal? Hell yeah. yeah. That's what we want. That is what exactly what we want. Let's go. Yes. Yeah, yeah boys. Probably not a keeper, but <laughs> a little whiting. It's like the one Lucky got before, eh? Borderline. Nah. Man. He's going back in the water. Too small. Another little boy. Another little boy for the little boy. <laughs> Brim. What I thought might have been out here. Keep him on. Bailey, you're off, Bailey. <laughs> Nathan was on. Oh wait. Charles Nathan. Here we go, Nathan's another little on. one. And Bailey's got on like the same time. Another little brim. School of bloody brim. Fucking brim around. Time to move, eh? Not sure if you can hear this, but it sounds like it's sizzling. Hundreds of thousands of these little things everywhere. So we've got a few brim, move spots. Gone over there into the shallow bit, and I've just got this monster whiting. Look at this. Fucking beautiful. How good. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Dude, a, what do you reckon? I reckon like 37. 37. Same as my one yesterday, I reckon. Yeah. Fucking oath. So the middle. 30. About 31. 31. 30. 31. Still well off, but still, that's a pretty decent size. Well, wow, what did you say it was? 35, 37. <laughs> <laughs> Gets, gives you an appreciation. 50 centimetre. Appreciation of how big the big ones are, eh? Like, it's a metre. <laughs> yeah. Nice man, stoked. Fuck yeah. Didn't see you pulling these drinks out. Yeah, it's good. Nice little flathead in the boat. Perfect. Nice work, mate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a measure for sure. Yeah, nice. Solid brim. Brim. Bastard. Bloody bastard. Stay there. Yes, let's go. Oh, that's the run on him. Uh, that's a small one, so I'll bring you, but... Oh, your favourite, eh? 
You love them. Fuck you. It's not even a brim. What is that? They're those silver biddies that we catch fucking. Oh, they're big boys. They're big eyes. They're, they're, they're massive. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. It's a keeper for sure. 29. Building up quite the collection of whiting in the esky and getting low on drinks. Cleaned up today, boys. Yeah. We've got an absolute beautiful feed of whiting for dinner tonight, and I'll uh, check back in when Bailey's doing his thing, fill it in a more. So after a great day fishing, I've run into a little bit of an issue. The uh, end of the radio just cracked off, so got no fluid in here right now. And then this just disintegrated and cracked to pieces. Um, not ideal. Don't want to be filming this, but you know it is what it is. I'll show you the reality of what happens when you do shit to your car. Obviously not happy, but there's not much you can do. Boys are heading over to Repco to get a radiator and some fluid, and hopefully we can swap this out right here, right now, and get ourselves back on the road for a good feed. Just waiting for you, Bailey. So Bailey's just done the radiator for me. Got it all ready, everything back together, pretty much ready to go. But the new radiator has low overflow barb that wasn't on the other one. Didn't come with a cap or anything for it. We've tried to plastic nope, weld it. it. Melt it, everything. but it's still just leaking. So, we're gonna try and get some super glue or some aldehyde or something and plug the hole both sides and hope it holds until at least we get back home and yeah. try and do it properly, cut it off and proper plug it. Plug it. That's it, love it. In the car park, the old radiator, Jimmy. Very frustrating. Everything's... 14 whiting to go and eat and fill it. Yeah, we still haven't even cooked up yet. Fucking catch it. Starving. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to sick as well. Alrighty, guys. After last night's little mishap, we um, decided to pack up and head off pretty early in the morning. We were on the road by 6.30, home by quarter past eight, which was great. Um, a little uh, roadside mechanics worked, got me all the way home, didn't lose any fluid or anything like that. Um, already been a super cheap. Put a proper blanking cap on there and a hose clamp, so that should hopefully hold that. Shout out to Bailey. Um, if he didn't get in there and get his hands dirty, it would have been a very uh, shit weekend for myself and for Jess. But yeah, thanks Bailey for getting in there, getting your hands dirty, ripping the radiator out, getting covered in radiator fluid, using a basic tool kit to get the job done. Without you, we'll probably be sitting on the side of the road or on the back of a tow truck getting towed home this weekend. But yeah, legend. Got the radiator in, got it done. Not afraid to get dirty, but yeah. It's all good, the fluid's full, ready to go. Now it's uh, time to head over to Bailey's place for the cook up, because we didn't do it while we were camping. Just, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't in a good mood after, yeah, spending 13,000 on my car and having an issue with it two days later. But anyway, that's cards for you. I'm gonna head over to Bailey's place and uh, cook up these whiting. I'll show you how we go. Let's get into it. Good job, Nathan. Thanks, Fill it in, skin them yourself, and uh... quarter them all myself too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 